20 year old man presents to the clinic with a several month history of headaches, ataxia, and deteriorating vision. Concerned about a CNS process, you order an emergency MRI of the head and find multiple cysts throughout the cerebellum and brainstem consistent with hemangioblastomas. So 20 year old man with hemangioblastomas. So this is the case of uh, von Hippel Lindau disease. Whenever you see like uh, headaches, ataxia, deteriorating vision and uh, concerned about a CNS process, MRI of the head with multiple cysts throughout the cerebellum and brainstem consists of uh, hemangioblastomas is a typical picture of von Hippel. You begin to suspect that this patient has a genetic disorder involving chromosome 3 because the gene is a von Hippel-Lindau gene, which is also called the VHL gene. And this VHL gene, remember, it is a tumor suppressor gene. So what is the etiology over here? The typical etiology is a deletion of the VHL gene is considered to be the most common cause. It is an autosomal dominant. VHL gene is a tumor suppressor gene located on chromosome number three. So that's why we can say that von Hippel-Lindau is a rare genetic disease of abnormal growth of blood vessels. So angiomatosis is a typical picture in this case. So in this, what happens is the capillaries are the one which join together and these capillaries join together to form the benign tumors and cysts in different parts of the body, typically in the brain. And these have potential for the malignant transformation. I'm repeating once again, abnormal growth of blood vessels is the actual pathology in the von Hippel-Lindau, which is called as angiomatosis. Initially, it starts with the capillaries grows together. And once the capillaries grows, they join together to form benign tumors and cysts in different parts of the body. And these benign tumors, which are formed by the joining of these capillaries, have potential for malignant transformation. So this is how the uh, uh, typical clinical manifestations which are seen in the von hippel lindau So now, what is the etiology once again as i already mentioned the etiology is mainly because of uh, deletion of the vhl gene on the chromosome number three and it is autosomal dominant inheritance because as i said that the vhl gene is a tumor suppressor gene and this tumor suppressor gene which is mainly responsible for the maintenance or we can say the component of ubiquitin ligase complex and not only that, this gene is also a responsible factor for the regulation of the cell cycle adhesion and angiogenesis. I'm repeating once again, VHL gene on chromosome number three, which is a component of ubiquitin ligase complex, and it is a regulator of the cell cycle adhesion as well as angiogenesis. So, what is a typical pathological picture? The pathological picture is evident with hemangioblastomas. These hemangioblastomas are nothing but vascular neoplasm associated with a large cyst or uh, cavernous hemangiomas of the cerebellum, brainstem, and the retina can be seen in this disease. Now let us talk about clinical manifestations. Initially, the disease presents uh, with headache, ataxia, or loss of vision, what we are seeing in this case, and mainly associated with increased incidence of renal cell carcinoma, pheochromocytoma, and because uh, adenomas are not only seen in this locations, adenomas and cysts of the liver, kidney, and pancreas are also common in von hippel lindau That's why. Initial presentations are uh, typical with headaches, ataxia, and loss of vision, and may be associated with an increased incidence of renal cell carcinoma, pheochromocytoma, 
ocular and CNS hemangioblastomas are seen. So the only treatment option which is available in such cases is a surgical removal of tumor as well as radiation therapy. So there are two important words you need to know over here is what is capillary hemangioma and what is cavernous hemangioma. So capillary hemangioma is a malformation of a cluster of capillary like channels filled with blood. And it is the most common tumor of infancy and it is responsible for port vein stain birthmarks. So port vein stain birthmarks, malformation of a cluster of capillary like channels filled with the blood and it is considered to be the most common tumor of infancy which is capillary hemangioma. Next is the cavernous hemangioma consists of a large vascular space filled with the blood. But capillary is like small when compared to that of the cavernous hemangioma. So this is about uh, one hippel Lindau.